house, you will come across a spacious drawing room showing his chair, writing table, some awards and family photographs. He built this house for the love of the place. He lived here for 40 years. He shared this big house with his elder brother Patabi and his family. This is his front garden. During his stay here, he must have had a wonderful garden. Let's watch some family photographs of R.K. Narayan. R.K. Narayan at the age of 5. Lutheran Mission School in Madras. He married Rajam in 1933. Unfortunately, she died of typhoid in 1939 with his wife and daughter Hema. His only child, Hema. In 1952 picture with his mother, Janambar, Hema, his younger brother, R.K. Srinivasan, nephews and niece. R.K. Narayan with wife and parents. A family photograph with parents in 1925. <music> that spanned over 60 years, R.K. Narayan received many awards and honors. He received Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan and many others. He was a member of Rajya Sabha. Honorary Doctorate by Mysore University, Honorary Doctorate by Delhi University, Guide was adapted for film and for Broadway. The popular Indian television series Malgudi Days of 1980s. Sahitya Academy Award. Stamp released in 2009 to honor R.K. Narayan. and Josna Kamat. R.K. Narayan is known for his best works set in Malgudi, a fictional South Indian town. Like many successful writers, he was not immediately successful in his writing career. But from the time Malgudi Days was published, 
with financial aid of his mentor and friend Graham Greene, Narayan never looked back. He wrote 29 novels He has created commonplace heroes such as the schoolboy Swami, the Bachelor of Arts, the English teacher, Mr. Sampat, Railway Raju, the taxidermist. These are his personal books and the books that he published. Narayan began reporting for the Madras newspaper The Justice in 1933. After Brief stints in teaching and journalism, he decided to be a fictional writer. He is one of the trios of the early Indian-English literature. R.K. Narayan wrote novels, short stories, essays, sketches and memoir, all of which tried to convey his acute sense of the land and the people he knew. He has written a travel book, The Emerald Root, three collections of essays, A Writer's Nightmare, Next Sunday, and Reluctant Guru, and three books on Indian epics, Gods, Demons and Others, The Ramayana, and The Mahabharata. He has also written a diary titled, My Dateless Diary, telling us about his views on the U.S. when he travelled there. His first novel, Swami and Friends, was published in 1935, The Bachelor of Arts in 1937, The Dark Room in 1938, and The Financial Expert in 1951. The Financial Expert is considered to be his masterpiece. His first collection of short stories, Malgudi Days, was published in 1942 followed by The English Teacher in 1945. In between, being cut off from England due to war, Narayan started his own publishing company, naming it Indian Thought Publications. Even now, it is active and is being run by his granddaughter. His writing style is compared to that of many stalwarts such as Chekhov, Mopasa and O. Henry. In the writing career that spanned over 60 years, R.K. Narayan received many awards and honours. He described his study as a bay room, this huge room with eight large windows 
is on the first floor. In 2011, Mysore Urban Development Authority declared the property a heritage building and later converted it into a museum in 2016. Thank you for watching and have a good day.